So, I was speaking to my mom last night, and she would like to meet you. So quick. What do you mean so quick? We just started dating now. Who is dating you? We are courting and about to get married. <laughs> Without going on one need to propose to me. Oh, that's true. Is that necessary? Well, not necessarily. What's that behind you? What's that? I didn't see. Oh my God! Stop! Will you marry me, Victoria? <laughs> yes, I will. I am fine, mommy. You? I have missed you. I missed you too, my dear. Hmm. This one, you sound happy these days. What is the secret? Mommy, I am always happy. I know, but recently, you sound happier. Tell me, don't keep secrets from me. <laughs> okay. Well, you are right. I am happier these days. Even though I don't want it to be real, but I am enjoying it right now. What do you mean? So, there is this young man that has been on my case for a while now. He makes me smile and all that, but... But what? I don't think I am ready for a relationship right now. My heart still aches, mommy. Don't tell me you are still in love with that useless boy, Jacob. No, God forbid. That's not the case. I am not just ready for a new relationship right now. Why not? I don't know. I am scared. So, because one man jilted you, you now zero your mind on every man. Mommy, is that not enough reason to? My friend, get out of here. Jacob was a wicked man. Doesn't mean all men are like that. Men are wicked, mommy. Forget all these things you are saying. Jacob just proved it first hand for me. I know. Besides, I save a living God. So you only end up with a good man, not a demon. Hmm. So are you saying I should give him a chance? If he's a good person and he makes you happy, I think you should give him a trial. Although he has not asked me out yet, but he is showing signs already. He has not asked you out yet, but he is making you this happy. He must be a good man. He is. I will just you later. I'll be expecting the food just later. Alright, mommy. Love you. I love you. Later, my dear. Hello? Hi, what's up? Ready to let me in? Well, yes. Okay, I will be there in five. Alright then. Welcome to my humble space. Well, I won't lie. It's quite humble. <laughs> <laughs> Insult me well. I'm sorry. It's fine. No issues. Please have your seat. Thank you for inviting me. I've been anticipating this. <laughs> I know. I made rice and stew. Let me dish some for you. You didn't have to. Cut the demand. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much for the food. It was really tasty. You are welcome. For the record, 
I am a professional chef. So in case you need someone to stock your fridge for you, I am your plug. Well, what about you just move into my place and be my own personal chef? <laughs> hmm, Fred, Fred, what are you trying to say? Victoria, you know it's no use telling you with my mouth again. You already know how I feel about you. I do, but I would like to hear it from your mouth. Victoria, I love you. I really do. I don't intend to date you for long. I've studied you for a while, and I know you are who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Fred, you are a nice guy. You really are. But I have gone through the worst things in relationships. Same goes for me. I have gone through a whole lot too. Do you care to share? He was my first love. I loved him so much. But he jilted me a few weeks to our wedding. Wedding? You guys were about to tie the knot. Yeah, then the changes started. He became busy, angry, and difficult. So sorry about that. And that man was probably in the picture. Yeah, he got married on the same date we were supposed to. What? Madu, my gender. That's wrong. I'm so sorry. That's in the past already, but the sky is still there. Yeah, I get. What about you? I caught her with my best friend. After they both lied, they were going for a business trip. It is well. I am sorry, dear. Nah, it's fine. Not your fault. That aside, I only really want you, Vicky. I only really want to marry you. Let's date for a while, but hope you won't leave me for her if she comes begging. I am so glad. I will not disappoint you. Please don't worry about her. I can never go back to my vomit. If you say so, I will hold you for your words. You know I kinda like you, but was just tired of disappointments from men. Thank you for giving me a chance. We were not just lucky to meet the good people. You are right. Hope it will not end up like others. It will not. Trust me. You are the kind of woman I want to spend the whole of my life with. Anyways, time shall tell. I would like to take you out on a date. Okay. Will you be free by weekend? Okay. I will let you know before then. I will appreciate. Don't worry, I will keep in touch. Okay then, let me be on my way. I will call you when I get home. I love you. Thank you for your company. Take care of yourself. You look good. Thank you. You are not looking bad yourself. So where do we start from? Let's start with the menu. What would you like to have? Anything you are having. I want this Chinese rice. Okay then, I'll have the same. No, the thing about this country is we never learn. We blame the government but we are also responsible for some of the failures we are facing. I know, but the government plays a larger role in our backwardness. I understand, but we are quite corrupt as citizens. It's our own doing that's enabling the government. If we act right as citizens, the government would have no reason to cheat us and go scot-free. True, you have a point. You see? So, I was speaking to my mom last night, and she would like to meet you. So quick? What do you mean so quick? We just started dating now. Who is dating you? We are caught in and about to get married. <laughs> Without going on one knee to propose to me. Oh, that's true. Is that necessary? Well, not necessarily. What's that behind you? What's that? I didn't think... Oh my god! Stop! Will you marry me, Victoria? <laughs> yes, I will! Mommy! Ha! Ah, Victoria! Hope no problem! Mommy, guess what? What? Guess na! You know I'm not good! Just tell me what it is! Fred proposed! What? He proposed? Yes, so! I thought you guys just started dating! It doesn't matter, Mommy. We love each other and that's enough! True! 
I am happy for you, my daughter. You deserve all the happiness in this world. Thank you, mommy. So when are you bringing him to Lagos? Very soon, mommy. All right, my dear. May God bless your union. Amen. All right. I'll be expecting you too. Sure. babe i was thinking can we do a very small wedding just cut and a small white wedding with just our family members for real yeah you know that's exactly what i want but i was scared to tell you why i thought you would want a very big wedding nah i don't want that at all i don't need anything loud oh i love you so much i love you too so when are we going to see my mom i'm ready if you are okay over the weekend. All right, love. Fred, Fred, I have heard a lot about you, and I'm glad to finally meet you. Same here. Victoria has told me a lot about you. Besides, I want to say I'm grateful to you for raising a nice lady like her. Ah, you want to wine her? No, it's the truth. You are just a finely young lady. Well brought up lady. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I only tried my best. All thanks to my maker. You are welcome, ma. Victoria told me you guys have agreed to have a very small wedding. Yes, ma. It's not about the cost, but I'm a really private person. Mommy, I brought up the decision. I want a small one. Okay, then. That would be nice. Victoria has been through a lot. I would do anything she wants to. Yes, mommy. Fred, Victoria is all I have. Please, if you know you don't love her, please don't deceive her. I won't, ma. Love her with all you have. Most definitely. I really love her, mommy. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Stop! You are making me blush too much. So we came to Lagos together, but you want me to go back alone, right? Babe, now. It's not fair. I know, but it's been long I saw mommy. That's why. I am sorry. Even though, now I have to travel alone. I am sorry, dear. I am really sorry. Okay, kiss me then. <laughs> I am sure mommy is looking at us. Ah, okay. I like him. He has a calm and soothing presence. I know, right? Well done. God is in your midst. This will only end the praises. Amen. I love you. I love you too. Hope you won't tell Jacob. Jacob? Why? I don't have any business with him, so why should I tell him? Very good. I am happy for you, honestly. Seeing you smiling happily. Congratulations. Thank you, mommy. I said I want a divorce. And I said I won't give it to you. Are you not tired? Jacob, I am tired of this marriage. Well, you are stuck with me. Wow, really? Yes, really. I gave you a choice, but you rejected it. Don't come and be acting like a husband because I'm nobody's wife. Just listen to yourself. No worries, enjoy. You know before, I was just giving you a taste of the fight. But now, you will experience real war. You think you are wise? Get lost. I should get lost. Good, I will. But not for long. Jacob, I promise you, the time you want the divorce, you will beg. Get out, Joe. 